During the early Middle Ages, the Catholic Church was a powerful ruling body. It exercised control for many affairs, including music. During this time, the Church believed that music alleviated a liturgical word to a higher level. This was also a time of illiteracy, where sadly only the clergy and few others learned to read and write. To preserve the liturgical works and chant melodies, books were written and then copied by hand. This then became a common practice within the Church, thanks to St. Gregory, and monasteries had writing workshops, where monks and more rarely nuns would engage in producing manuscripts. For the monks themselves, copying scripture and manuscripts was regarded to be on the spiritual level of praying or fasting, a otherwise helpful step in spreading the word of God. This was only the beginning of the road that led to the printing press of music. By the late 15th century, a technique was used for printing music called woodblock printing. This process involved writing or essentially drawing the music reversed as if seen on a mirror onto a piece of wood that was made flat and even. This was so the music could be printed the correct way onto a piece of parchment or cloth. In order to prevent mistakes, the wood carver would carefully and delicately write or draw the music onto the wood in reverse. The next step was to carve out the wood around the symbols so that the symbols were elevated like a stamp. At intersecting lines, the cut needed to be clean or a small nick needed to be made between perpendicular lines so that the ink wouldn't blop or spread. The next step was to press, print, and then let dry. The quality of music printed using the woodblock method varied depending on the carefulness of the woodcarver and the proper inking and printing of the woodcut. In 1450, Johannes Gutenberg invented the printing press. This revolutionized the game. It didn't take long before it was soon utilized to print music. With new movable type, every note, line, beam, etc. had to be assembled into a metal music puzzle. You had to line up all the correct pieces that the musical work specified. Just like the woodblock printing method, all the music had to be put on the press in reverse correctly. Errors were not an option. From this point on, the pieces were locked together, placed into the printing press, inked, and pressed onto paper. This whole process with the blocks of music notation was a tedious and expensive one, but with this came major advantage in duplicating the work multiple times. Copies of the music can now be sold and distributed to more people. In 1501, Octaviano Petrucci produced the first collection of polyphonic music that was all printed using a movable printing press. He used the press in three different layers, one for the lines, one for the words, and the final one for the notes and elaborate beautiful initials. This was time consuming, labor heavy, expensive, and worth it. These prints survive to this day. This man was a genius among men, for he acquired a patent on this process, which gained him a monopoly over music printing in Venice for decades. This is where walking became running in the sense of music notation and printed music production. From here, further down the line into the future, into the 20th century, music typewriters became the new music printing press. Musicians started to become familiar in using these machines. Though several different models were invented, there were two different concepts that became standard. The Keaton music typewriter looked very different from a regular typewriter. It had two keyboards, one which was movable and one that was stationary. The other models looked very much like regular typewriters, just using musical symbol keys instead of letters. Staff paper or blank paper would be inserted and then you type. Again, mistakes were not an option. After the music was printed on a music typewriter, the original was then photographed or copied to make extra copies necessary to distribute and sell. In this short video, we have gone over the brief history of the music printing press. From the time before its creation, to the time of its first use of printing with the woodblock method, after, with the invention of the printing press, 
and Petrucci's production of his first collection of polyphonic music completely using the printing press, and then to the revolution of the music typewriter. <laughs> 